Hello guys and welcome back to my YouTube channel. Hope you had a lovely Christmas and um, I sure have, um, not for me, but for the kids. But uh, today I'm going to show you this new guitar that I have here. Actually, I have two of them because um, these guitars, this, this one, the Dime, this one is a Camo ML, Dime ML, DIN, sorry, DIN, Dime ML. Uh, it has the um, Seymour Duncan Dime Bucker and then a DMT from uh, Dean. Uh, Floyd's World Special works fine. And it has that, that, that little thing here on the, the controls where you can feel uh, to your touch. I, don't, I, don't, I, I believe Dimebag Daryl did this by soldering something. So you get a grip, better grip on this. This is the camo. I was looking for... Um, a different guitar, a different type of DIN, like the um, Lightning Bolt, but uh, they are, uh, I think, probably, I didn't find anyone in Portugal or in Europe, just in the United States and in, on eBay and stuff like that, but I was not going to risk, the, um, you know, the, the customs and stuff like that, pay much more. So what happened is this store here in Portugal had a uh, two or three guitars, they don't have any more, any guitar, any, uh, because I think uh, the Dime family has, um, uh, you know, uh, gone apart with, with Dean, something like that. So as soon as I saw these ones, uh, I had to buy them because I don't know if they'll make them anymore. Anyways, this is made in, in India, but it's a great guitar, very well built, no fault at all. Uh, the only fault that it has, uh, and it's not, not nothing special, that's one of the reasons I bought it. It's because uh, these guitars are called X demos, so they were like in the store for people to play, not in the box. Okay, so um, they took a fair amount of money from these guitars. I have the other one back there for another video, and uh, the other one doesn't have a single scratch, and it was much much cheaper. And this one only has a little a little scratch, but it's not even a scratch. It's probably. I don't know if you guys can see it here on the third fret has like something in the wood but uh, you, you don't, don't even feel it okay so it's uh, just by that the price dropped uh, radically and it, this is the back of the guitar all white uh, this is open because uh, you need to, to deal with the fly many times so it's better to be open so th these are very powerful pickups on this guitar I have zero tens and it's uh, tuned to D Okay, so it's very low tuning uh, to play Pantera and other stuff, and it's very well built. I don't have anything bad to say about this guitar. Not a single scratch, uh, not a single hint of glue. The frets are very well, are spot on, you know, action is very low. Mother of Pearl dots, really Mother of Pearl. And uh, it's great, it's just a big guitar. You don't know where to, where to put it. So I'm connecting, connected to my katana. Let's hear first some clean tones. Pickups are very hot like I tell, told you before. And there's something here kind of weird. And I asked, I asked someone on, on, on Facebook and they told me. So the bridge pickup, I want to explain it in a moment. The bridge pickup. Has some effects with like delay in chorus and, and reverb. Sounds very, very clean. You know, you can play anything on this guitar. You can play, not just a metal guitar, you can play jazz if you want to. You know? In between, the pickups are out of phase. So before we continue, I have to take it back what I said, because I have a little problem here on the switch so they were sounding out of phase, but they are not actually, actually out of phase. So I have to solder this or something like that. So uh, let's see if it gives some sound because I'm having some issues here with the switch. If I toggle a little bit down, it becomes out of phase. See? So there's, there's some, some issue here, but uh, it's an easy fix. So let's go for a more of a, no, I don't have any tone. Have again in the bridge pickup let's go for a more uh, metal tone so using my katana my latest pack inspired by pantera Thank you. 
It's a very, very powerful guitar. I'm running out of battery on this camera and it sucks, but it's a very powerful guitar. Well, I mean, I'm backwards. <laughs> Yeah, it sounds really cool. Very tight low end. But this is a very specific tone like Pantera, not necessarily like a Marshall tone or something like that. But I'm going for it with this guitar. Now let's take a listen to a more of a solo tone. Of course you can do everything with this tremolo. Uh, it's probably it's not a Floyd, original Floyd Rose, but until now... Very aggressive bass tone. Let's see if I have some tone now, some sound on the neck pickup. to play this in D so I have the noise gate very high so it probably will cut some of these harmonics but they're doable I just can't find the special one Here she is. So really, it's a lot of fun playing on this guitar. Uh, I really love it, and um, but I'm using it almost ex exclusively for Pantera tones, not, not necessarily for other kind of tones. Like, you know, you can have a Marshall tone, an heavy tone, like that. But I'm really digging the Katana, this type of, type of combo, because it's solid state, uh, just like Pantera, the, the amps they use, at least for the most time. And, um, and it sounds really cool. I, I bought these guitars basically to play Pantera, not to play, I mean, I could play anything else, but I'm really happy with the guitar and uh, it's, it's got some weight to it, this one. The other one is much lighter and has zero nines on it and standard tuning. This one is in drop D, drop, not drop D, standard D tuning. But it sounds amazing, it's, it's very heavy and uh, I wanted to have one of these guitars for a so long time. I had one, but it had like that five switch blade 
and uh, extra pickup in the middle. I really didn't like that, so I sold it eventually. He has a soft, soft V neck with some, some volute here on the back. Um, and it's, I was first kind of skeptical about the finish, but now I really think it's really cool, you know? It's very beautiful. And uh, you know, I don't, I don't know where to put it. So I always put it like this against something. You guys can see it because it's far from the camera. Uh, but uh, it will find some, I'll find some room for it because I already have too many guitars. So hope you guys enjoyed this video. Uh, hope your Christmas was great. And uh, I'll see you on the next one. Thanks for watching. Cheers. Mm -hmm.